probably just leave the rods in now. If they go, they go. If they don't, they don't. Oh! Absolutely belted off. It's a ghosty mush. Right, on my way to Limbrook. Here we go then. Driving over a river. She's overflowed. Come on then. Great start. Oi oi, here we go then. And what a beautiful lake this is as well. Absolutely stunning. The boy's done a great job down there. There's the boy. There we are then. This is the peg we're going to be fishing today, peg eight. It's a double peg. I've got my power coming in here tomorrow. So today, for the first 24 hours, I've got the whole swim to myself. Spoke to Lee and the bailiff. Just give me a few pointers on where to fish tonight. So I want to get the rod set up. Cut them out quick, then get the big in up. Come on the car. Fish number one on. Absolutely belted off. Feels like a good fish as well. Come on! Fishing. Right, fish number one, peg eight, Limbrook Cut Fishery. What an absolute belter. Belter fruit and nut pop up, top of six maggots. Don't get much better than this. We've only been here two hours. Rod's been out an hour. Happy days. Right, seven o'clock now. No more fish yet. I'm tucked up in bed like a little baby. Just feel really tired today. Don't know what it is. Too much fishing, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really confident for tonight. At first bite, come early. It's been about four hours now since the bite. I've seen a few little shows, a few bubbles here, here and there, but um, yeah, let's see what happens. It's now seven o'clock in the morning. Nothing happened last night. A few knocks on the middle and rod. I did think they'd turn up on the spot, but Peggers can't be choosers. So, I'm gonna leave the rods out another few more hours, just until bite time passes. I've got my mate Stan coming at 11 o'clock, so when he turns up, I'll reel the rods in and think about whether I'm gonna redo them or move to another swim. Breakfast for today then. Mini Weetabix, chocolate bits in it. A bit of full fat milk. Come on. <whistles> Just finished the old brekkie. Thought, yeah, I'm gonna go chuck some bait on that middle round rod. Got round there, had a few beeps on my left hand. All of a sudden, it absolutely melted down. I'm sprinting back round to my rods. And I've got another one in the net. It's not a bad one either. Let's have a look. Go on then. What's coming? <whistles> Left arm rod again. Fish number two. We'll have one to the fruit and that pop up top with maggots. This one with about 20 maggots. But last night before I went to bed I thought I'll redo it. It's about just that left one. And yeah, it's battled off this morning. As I went round the bed the middle arm rod. Absolute bell of happy days. It's 22 pound. Was it 22 pound six when it went? Yeah. 22 pound six. I'll take that. Yeah, I do too. Just spoke to the bailiff, he's come round. He said this whole end down this side is all my swim. So I can either come round and sit in this swim over there and just stalk out for a bit, or 
I can put it all down there. Little stalking one, look at that, that's mega. Just got it literally just in there, not not far under the rod tips really. Using my slap rod. <laughs> a little bit shorter. Yeah, just a little bit there, probably chuck about three or four handfuls of maggot and climb over the top of it. He said just sit on it, it should happen. But we'll see. Come on. Stan's finally turned up. Here he is. Sleeping under the stars tonight. Forgot his bivy left it at home. That be days. Talk right around that margin. But my legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> Stan doing what he does best, cooking food. Fuck yeah, can't cut this up very well though. Cutting a roll with a spoon, casually. That's the dumb compromise. Still works. Oh yeah, it's a treat in it though, look at that, fuck me, it's got half a roll. Oh yeah, that's good. On the for the next one. Me and Stan decided we found a little spot in the water. He's gonna fish his right rod on it. I wanna fish my left rod on it. We just made this mix. OG fish crime and maggot. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Fruit and nut flat spot. Smells absolutely banging. Just like that. And hopefully we can get a few bangers. And it's Stanley boy. Hope you get one. Go on. Hey, sad. Take two. Stan stuck one underneath that tree to the left, like you see me put out earlier on, and it's in. Come on, Stan. Your ass going, brother, is it? Oh. Your ass going. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll shit this out. <laughs> it's a nice, heavily baited spot as well, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. Loads of them. My sport, mate. Black Lord, especially. Maggots. What's the mirror? Oh, I'm just looking where I think as well. Right, fish number one for Stan. What banger? Absolute stunning fish. Very full of energy, I don't think I tied him out enough. Mouth of blue, managed to bank one. Cheers, Luke. There she goes. There you are. I'm going to stand the man. He fell over. Nice. Right, it's seven o'clock now. Pitch black as you can see. Wind's hacking down this end now. Oh, oh wow, the whole time I've been here, wind's been hacking down to the left hand side. I don't think they have had a few down there. But it's finally taking a turn and it's coming back this way. So I'm opening now, the fish come over, find my baited spot, and we can get a few fish out. Stan's tucked up in bed already. Big girl. Gotta keep in touch, mate, see what happens. Come on the carp. 
another quiet night last night. Oh, good night's sleep though. Got the eating sleeping bag on. I'm gonna do what I did yesterday and hopefully it happens again. Leave the rods out, pass by time. Gotta pack up and leave by one o'clock today, so I'll probably just leave the rods in now. If they go, they go. If they don't, they don't. Oh! Oh! Ah! Swans. Well, that was it. Sharon. I'm your hero. <laughs> what a morning. Love this guy. We now. It's a bite. Well, the pack downs on underway. All the gears on the barrow, just the two rods out. Just gonna go get my margin rod in now and then put the other ones away. I really thought this one when I went off last night, but nothing. Tuck down here in this little snag. I'm looking mega for a boy, but just never happened. Never happened. They definitely moved off. It's quite a week's fun. Week and a week beforehand. Bailey, but I had 23 fish from Peg 8. Obviously, not all from the spot, but a lot of them from down there. But so that's fishing for you. Next time. There's always next time. Right, another session at Limbrook Carp Fisheries. Hopefully, we can get a couple of Nosser pigs this time. I've got my mate Stu here in the van. Just waiting for Liam to open the gate for us. And then we're going to get ready. A cold morning this morning, it was minus four, slept four last night, saw so four or five crashes here on the way. But we made it here in one piece. Can't wait to get the rods out. As you can see, I'm now on my peg. I've chosen peg seven today. Just because the fish have been coming out in the open water, but then I've got the choice of a snag or two if I wanted to fish it. So I'm going to have one down on my right margin. Because when I was down here on peg eight last week, my mate Stan had one on his left margin in that same sort of spot. So I'm gonna put one down there, gotta fish the other one. Probably a rod length off that island because if you get too close, it is about a foot deep, so you don't wanna be too shallow. So I'm probably gonna go about rod length off the island and then maybe get the last one. If I'm gonna mess about with the last one on bag, probably gonna have a little go up in water, one just off the back of the island. Yeah, and that's it really. Hopefully we can bag and cut the fish next time you see me, I'll have a big nosser in it. This is the rig gonna be doing the damage today. Just a little D-rig, the one I normally use. A little bit of shrink tube there, just to sit as a kicker. I'm gonna add a little bit of putty just here where the braid joins the coating. A little anti-tangle sleeve up top, probably about eight to nine inches long. And I'm just going to top that with half a fruit and nut pop up, which I've been glugging for probably now about a month. I've just pulled this pot out, I've gone through the last ones already. And I'm going to be topping that with probably about 20 maggots. Casting bags of maggot and little bags of pellet out there. And hopefully that's going to do us a few fish. But for now, I'm going to get the rods out, make a brew chill out get the eating on because it is a bit chilly and enjoy the evening and that there is the magic right that's it all three rods are out that left hand one is looking mega i've just cast it out into the open water there's fizzing up all over it if that don't do a bit bite then i don't know what will Right hand's down the margin and the right hand side. Middle one's off the island. Probably about 
rod length off, sat in about four foot's worth of water. But that, that's probably a half a rod length off where I had the two fish last week. So I am feeling quite confident. No fish have been out for the last few days. So hopefully now this is the time they want to have a little munch. We can bag a few. Just gonna have a look down the Strews bag, he's the peg next door, peg eight. Fishing the swim or delta I have my last two fish on. It's mega. Damn this margin is nuts. If you can get underneath that tree, it is a spot. But this is Stu swim. Mega swim, it is a double peg. But he's let he's let Stu have it for tonight. But if anyone does book book it for a double, he's got to move tomorrow. Look a mega stew, isn't it? Well, you got it off that margin down there. Hang on. Oh mate, it's lovely. Get in. Get in, come on. It's a ghosty mush. Sent me some of his cakes a couple of weeks ago when I was up fishing. Sean the chef. <laughs> yeah, Sean yeah. the chef. Cold out here, isn't it? Yeah, it's nippy oh, once you come out. For seven quid a day, it's, it's worth it. Yeah, isn't it? definitely, especially now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. Just over 23. I'll hold it and you have another look. Absolute belter. 23 pound, eight ounces, ghosty mirror, but they don't get much scalier than this. This is an absolute banger. Nice, long, wide. Look at the scales on the top. Look, look at that. That's mega, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely fish. Nice ghosty top head, pale top. Well happy with that one. Happy days. What a great start that is. You can't go wrong with that. Philly scaled, ghosty, absolute banger. 23 and a half pound. Took me about an hour to get the rod back out after that, after I was speaking to the boys on the phone. Sending them a few pictures. Spoke to Ben, showed me how to work the camera, send the pictures over without using Wi Fi. So that was a good touch. Rod's back out on the spot now. Pitch black, you can't see nothing down here, so I'm, but I'm confident that it did land back on the spot. Hopefully, a few more tonight. The bruiser on. Just 
need a bite. Another one. <laughs> right, it's half seven in the morning. Lights just are coming now. Does look mad about that. Nothing did happen last night. Uh, didn't happen, it did get really cold though. But I leave the rods in past by the time like I did last time I was there. I ain't gonna put any more disturbance in the water until that time passes. Maybe about 11 o'clock, I'm gonna redo the rods again. See what happens for the last 24 hours. I think we've got one more fish in us. I think we can get one more. Just on Stewson now, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. He's done all three rods, just redone. Well, I've actually done two, he's doing his last one now. I've redone really two of mine. Didn't really get that on film because I see a lot of fizzing up out there, so it was just quickly get the bags on there, get the baited on that, and then just chuck them straight out. But that's exactly what happened yesterday. Saw the fizzing up, chuck the bait over the top, give it an hour, right? it went off, so hopefully. When you see me next, I've got the one up linen in it. Up on the spot out there again. Here we go. Cut the bruise. We're on this cold morning. And then Right, and a couple of bacon rolls will go down lovely. Cup tea with a view with big stew. Come on, the car. Two hours later. One eternity later. Stubo's getting up the old bait and sarnies. <laughs> the old bait and bats, boy. Come on, Shirley. And there she is. The king of all baps. The bacon melting <laughs> nossa brown sauce slice of butter and an absolute delicious bun. Here we go then. Half eleven now. Nothing else to shit. Just had a knock on the white hand rod, which is probably about rod level for the island. Moved the margin rod, got two out in the open water where I had that fish. There was more fizzing up there this morning. But for now, I'll sit down. Just had a nice bacon sarnie. I'm tired still. Just want to watch a film. Waste an hour or so. Watch the water as well. See if I can see any more bubbling up, fizzing anywhere. Any signs of feeding fish. But the sun is out now and it does look mega out there. Especially for a two foot zig. I'll have to give that a go in a minute, but I'm going to leave them for now. Can't 
Come on, the Nossos. Show another one that. Right, that right hand rod has been getting knocked for the last half hour. Just a little knock, bing, every five minutes or so. It's definitely fish out there feeding. Two left hand rods, I don't know if you can see it. Show you, see where that coot is just beforehand. There's a little sank in the water, that's not there, yeah, baby. Just the rod, you just picked that up, be honest. You see there's a few bubbles popping up. Just where the line is. So I can get a bit closer. But that's exactly where my bag of maggots is. Yeah, you can see that there, look, like, just the three bubbles popping. You know, they're definitely out there having a munch. Well, I've just put about 15 spums out. Just a little bit of crushed up boily maggot. Hemp. And uh, yeah, I'll put them um, all out on the spot where I had the fish last night. I have seen fizzing up on it already. I've chucked two rods on it, one either side. Both pop ups top with maggots. And yeah, it's looking good. Got the right hand rod out on a zig at the moment, just for a few hours until daylight's up. See if that's going to make a difference. And then. We're moving that one back to the island. Sure, he's got one on the opposite side of the island. He's just had a good knock. So it's looking promising throughout the day. There is signs of fish now. It looks like they are moving about a little bit more, so that's good news. Come on, the carp. So, with my bags, I'm just crumbing up a little bit of 10 mil OG fish bullies. Just put a little bit of crumb at the bottom. Probably about that much. Just give it a good base. Filling it with maggot. Way high. And then just topping it. A little bit more crumb. OG fish has got that nice fishy curry sort of smell to it. And the fish will absolutely love it. So just that little bit of crumb. I don't want to go mad. Just that little bit of crumb, just to give it a little bit more of a scent in the area. See that down there, get that nice and tight. And I'll just lick it and turn it over, because I only hook it in with putting that crumb up the top as well. I know I can go through the bag with a hook and not pierce through any maggots, so less chance for a hole in the bag and less chance for a maggot to be stuck on the hook and mess up with a hook turn. So there it is. Right, just a little touch down what's going on. It is now quarter past seven, pitch black. Can't see nothing at all. No moon, no stars, pitch black. Can't see anything. No more fish yet. I, to be fair, I've had a few liners, but I seem to be getting both both rods at the same time. So I'm getting like the middle and the um, middle and the rod rod both are going at the same time. So I've got a feeling that. They're, they're hitting the line nice and close, literally just in front of the rods. So what I've done now is I've baited my left margin and my right margin. I'm going to leave that for an hour or two, just keep an eye on it with a light. If I see any fizzing up on top of it, then I want to get rods down there. But for now, I'm going to leave them, make myself a brew, watch a film, and hopefully we can get a bite.
No more fish. Lovely pot noodle pending. And a cup of soup to keep me warm. Alright, oh, managed to get a nice sailing night last night. Not one beep on the rods all night. Slept like an absolute baby. But I'm starting to slowly pack up now. I'm gonna leave the rods in for about an hour, get the gear in the van. Hopefully we can nick one before we go home. But it's calm still out there. No fizzing, no signs. No shows, nothing to fish. I think the temperatures dropped so low last night that they're just not interested. Right, one's a couple in now. We're reeling one at a time. Respool them. There's a new Tom Maker in town, mate. 